Hi, good morning, folks. Look at this. I'm, uh, I'm Jim Hodson. I'm the executive director of the Veterans Memorial Air Park. And uh, this is the, the second time we've done this activity here. This will be our signature event, and we will be doing this every uh, January 12th uh, to commemorate the first powered flight that took place here in Fort Worth. Uh, we are standing in what is uh, proposed to be a new, a new park uh, that potentially is going to be called First Flight Park. The actual site of the first flight took place across the street, about where Ross Dress for Less is. There used to be a, a, a driving park there, a horse track. And a group called the Moissant International Aviators uh, had left New York and were going city to city and introducing flight to the, uh, to the, to the uh, United States. Uh, they had been in Dallas the week prior and Eamon Carter and uh, Benny Keith paid the commission for these folks to come here. Uh, they set up on the night of the 10th and uh, came in on their railroad cars, set up, put the, the airplanes together and then waited uh, during the day on the 12th, I'm sorry, so they came in on the 11th, waited on the day of the 12th to fly. Uh, it was a cold, windy day. They attempted to get an airplane off in the morning, and it didn't work really well. There were about 17,000 people who showed up. Nobody from Fort Worth had ever seen an airplane fly. And so about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, a gentleman in this picture in the center named Roland Garros, he was a Frenchman, and decided that uh, the crowd was getting a little ugly and he needed to go ahead and at least attempt flight. So uh, he climbed in his Blario 11 and we have a, a full scale uh, full scale silhouette of a Blario right here behind us so you can take a look at afterwards. Took off up to the north, circled around town a couple of times and came back and landed. And that was the first powered flight that had taken place here. During that time in 19, uh, 1911 uh, aviation was a mania here in the United States. Uh, from about 1908 until 1912 and even later, people were uh, everywhere were trying to build airplanes and fly them. If they had a barn and a picture, they tried to build airplanes. They came up with new designs for, for propellers. It was like the tulip mania and the internet mania and all the rest of it. It was a huge deal here in the uh, United States at that time. So. Uh, this is a picture that took place across the street. You're welcome to come and look at this a little bit later. Uh, in just about a second or so, uh, Bob is going to send off the, the siren on the, on the fire truck, and then we're going to let the balloons go. Uh, we will notify people on our website if your balloons are retrieved. I can tell you two years ago that the balloons that launched, uh, most of them were found in Richardson. So, uh, so we'll see how far these go. We've had some of them go even farther. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about this or other aviation aspects here in North Texas, because we have over a hundred years of it, and it has really marked the development of the city, please come out to the museum. We're at Meacham Field, and uh, we're open Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, one other thing here that I'm going to announce today is that we have located an airplane that is very special to the history of what's taken place here. Uh, and that airplane is called the Travel Air 5000. There were very few of them were ever built. The particular airplane that uh, we have located was the one that belonged to Eamon Carter and uh, was one of the first commercial airplanes uh, to be used here in the city. Uh, the airplane is in uh, uh, less than pristine condition, but it is over 50 years old, obviously. And uh, we're going to launch a, a campaign here to try to get the citizens of Fort Worth and North Texas to uh, acquire this airplane and bring it here to its rightful place in Fort Worth. So you'll be hearing more about that uh, over the next, uh, the next few months. So is everybody ready to launch a balloon? Yeah. Yeah. Bob, let's give you a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Launch your balloon. We've all made it. Oh, no. oh there we go.